Good morning, Alter Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the Director of Training and Marketing here. And today we're gonna to be going into our agent marketing uh, website and CRM system. So by now, all of you should have received your logins for your, uh, your agent marketing uh, CRM and website. And so once you log in, uh, the screen that we're looking at right now is the dashboard. And so once you log in, this is the screen that will greet you. So uh, the agent marketing system is laid out very, very uh, nice and user friendly. So uh, very, very easy functionality. Um, the very first thing to do when, when you get to your agent marketing website dashboard and you haven't started anything is to go to the checklist. So this checklist is pretty cool. Um, you can print these up. You can watch a couple of the videos, but this is a really good spot to start. Uh, make sure that you get a good overview of what the system does. Spend a little bit of time, um, you know, going through the videos and going through some of the tutorials, um, and that will get you started. Um, a great thing to do also is to, to uh, print up this checklist. So this is a great checklist, keep you on track, making sure that you are able to uh, get all the different things done so you can use your agent marketing uh, website very well. So. Uh, great starting point there. Um, then, of course, once you once you you open up that and you get into the deal, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first go into this profile area. So this is where you'll be able to upload an image of yourself. So here's uh, this is Pam Evans' uh, backend w uh, website uh, system. So right here, you'll notice that this is kind of the nuts and bolts. This is all the most important basic information. So make sure that this is filled out completely. Um, a very, very important thing is, and we'll add this for, for Pam here, is to make sure that we've got the mobile phone here. So let's do her no mobile phone in here. So what that's going to do is that's going to enable the text notification feature. And so, of course, anytime we do any kind of uh, changes, we want to go up and hit the save button. Um, company logo, that will be in there. Most of the time I've got this stuff set up for you once you, uh, even before you get into your system, I've got all this stuff set up for you. Um, there could be a few things missing, but make sure that you get all of these things correct. Service area zip codes are kind of the main service uh, areas for your farm. So you'll want to fill in those. Uh, for Pam, she's just got these two and that's okay. You can change your login uh, password here. Uh, no problem at all. I usually set some of the, uh, the agents up with kind of a preliminary password and you're able to change it right there. So once you get everything in there, then you're, you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, we always, I always like to go back to the dashboard. And the second thing that's the most important is to get this website set up with the MLS. And so in order to do that, we click on this MLS setup button. And here's where you're gonna select uh, which MLS you're part of, which uh, board you're part of. So we've got it broken down into the different regions. Um, Agent marketing was just purchased by uh, IDX broker. So that really increased the functionality and the connections and all the other things that go with, with uh, being a part of IDX broker. They're the largest uh, IDX feed uh, company in the world. So we are in good hands with them. So that this is this will create the what they call the uh, MLS data source. So this is where the information will come from. Then we've got to click on this link here, IDX access, and we've got to make sure that we are set up. Um, it's normally it's between 11 and $21 a month to have this feed from uh, whatever uh, MLS that you're uh, a part of. In this case, Pam's a part of the uh, the CRMLS, so she pays 11 bucks a month. And um, if you don't have that established, what you'll do is you'll go into this form area. Um, most of the time, you'll just go to your MLS board and you'll uh, ask them for the IDX uh, uh, verification form. Uh, the different boards call it different things, but basically we're getting permission from the board in order to stream MLS data onto our website. And so uh, a lot of people don't realize that if they're doing searches on things like Trulia, Redfin, Zillow, that's not going to be a real 
a, a good depiction of exactly what is available in the market. Uh, us realtors know that you're, the only way you're going to find out exactly what's available is by going to the MLS and to do a search on a, a realtor's website. So um, we got to make sure that we are getting that feed from the MLS into our website. And so Pam, in this case, has done it. Um, again, if you hadn't, you'd click on this form and it would ask you to upload that particular form that we uh, got from the MLS. So in this case, we've already done it, so we're good. So we'll close out of there. Um, and of course, anybody has uh, questions about this stuff, if you get stuck, the most important thing in my mind is this little uh, button down here. So if we get stuck, we can click on this now, uh, as long as it's regular business hours, and we can do a live chat with the uh, folks over there at Agent Marketing. Um, as long as it's, you know, between, I think, eight and five, somebody's gonna get to you. If it's after eight and five, it's just gonna go ahead and send them an email, and then they'll reply back to you. So uh, utilize this chat feature, they're great. They're located right there in Aliso Viejo, California. Um, so they're not in some other country or some uh, other part of the state, they're right here. Uh, so they can work on things when we wanna work on things. So um, also a great support phone number uh, or, or a great phone support as well. So don't hesitate to utilize uh, the support with agent marketing, they're great. They get right back to you, makes things really easy. So um, if you ever get stuck, that's where you go, that's where I go. Um, next, we'll head back to the dashboard. So we, we, assuming we've got our MLS set up um, and everything's looking good there, then we can go ahead and the very next thing I do is I go to this websites tab right here. And this is where we can create a website. Now the agent marketing uh, platform does allow for us to make multiple websites. Honestly, I don't really recommend that. I think, you know, you want to drive traffic and you want to use one website. Um, we can create squeeze pages and other pages that we direct uh, people to. But um, as far as our outbound marketing, we want to use one website, have all of our, our information in one spot. Um, an example of where you may want to use another website would be maybe if you did business in two completely different areas. You know, say you do business in San Diego and you also have clients in Orange County. So in that case, you may want to have two different websites, one, you know, focusing on, on uh, each particular area. Uh, but for, for just about everybody else, 95% of realtors, everybody should just have one website. So all you have to do to create that website is click the add new button. And this is, we'll just take a look. Once you're in, you know, we've already obviously created Pam's website. So once you're here, you can click on this link and we can take a look at what the website looks like. So this is uh, Pam's site, very, very nice. It's got her featured listings because we've set her up with the uh, MLS. We can do a search, uh, you know, so we can go Newport Beach, do a search, and the properties will come up. If we hadn't got that permission uh, from the boards and established that MLS feed, then of course none of this would work. So everything is working great here. So if we were, if we hadn't set up the website, all we do is we click on this add new and we create a description for it. You know, most of the time I just call it the, you know, realtor Pam website or whoever the realtor is. Um, you can just put the name and we'll just do test for fun. We'll delete this in a sec. So now we've got another website, this test website. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the theme. So let's click on the theme button and they've already got a bunch of different themes. These are kind of the, the older themes that they've had. You can see that they've retired a couple of these uh, for good reason. You know, some of these are just not the, the same functionality that we've got now. Honestly, I wouldn't even use any of these other, these older themes. These are the two newest themes that have come out. They're highly customizable. Uh, they're responsive which means a responsive website is a website that is built on a platform that automatically will adjust its size based on what kind of device you're on. So if you're on a desktop, it'll display a certain way. If you're on a, uh, a mobile phone or a tablet, it'll display a different way. And they've kind of got, you know, the two different looks here, which is really important as you're all aware, or maybe not, 
um, the amount of searches coming from mobile devices is been on an, an incredible uh, trajectory. And so I think it was last year that mobile device searches surpassed uh, desktop searches. So having that uh, mobile functionality on our websites is extremely important and especially for uh, real estate when people are looking at stuff on the go. So I highly recommend you select either one of these two themes. They're both great. They both look great on mobile. Um, so, and they're both really, really customizable. So uh, for the sake of the example, let's go ahead and we'll select this theme and we just click save. And so now this has been completely saved and it's already got a lot of, of uh, I'll, I'll call it uh, dummy content. And so let's click on this and take a look. So it's already got good images. It's already got, you know, all kinds of, of, uh, of good content that's, that's loaded in there already. I mean, got the, the you know, a map, just looks good, looks pro. So once we've selected the theme, then the very next thing to do is to go into this options area. Now in the options area, we can do, ton, we can do just about anything. And this is new for uh, agent marketing. Um, the other themes besides the, the newest two don't have this functionality where we can really get in here and we can change just about anything. So the first thing that we'll do, we'll click on this theme settings. Um, we can re completely replace the logo. Uh, we can com completely replace the profile picture. So say we've got, uh, you know, Pam is in uh, Newport Beach. Say we've got a nice picture of Newport Beach homes. We can slide that right in here, upload that in here, and away we go. We can also change the font. I don't recommend using that one, but <laughs> we can <laughs> change the font and, you know, completely uh, redo the look and feel of the website based on just the fonts. So very, very simple. Select it, and it globally changes everything on the entire site. So, you know, obviously something that's a little more modern is what I would look for. We can also change the, the theme of the entire website with respect to colors. So say we want it to be a blue, that looks kind of nice. Or let's see what forest looks like. So anyway, we can go through all these different uh, color schemes and pick the one that's right for her. Um, you know, this one kind of looks, this is ocean. She's in Newport Beach, so maybe that's a good one for her. Um, so we'll leave that there. This is great too, you can set up your Google Analytics. Um, Google Analytics is a great way to keep track of exactly who uh, comes to your site, how they got there, um, all, the, all, all kinds of different characteristics. So um, I encourage all of you to go to Google Analytics and set up a free account. Just click the buttons, sign up, it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Once you sign up, they'll give you a, a code. And that code, all we do is we copy it and we paste it right in here and away we go. Click the save the changes and we're good. Uh, you, this is custom CSS and custom scripts. That's some advanced stuff for people that really understand web design. So don't expect for anybody to, to uh, spend much time there. So uh, going back to the homepage design area, this is where we can change the content of this. We, they've got some, some uh, other images that we can select. Again, Pam's Newport Beach, so maybe a beach image is good. I always kind of, you know, I think it's great to have a picture of a home. Um, that could be a Newport Beach home easily. Um, you can also use a custom image. Like I said, if you've got a, a really good image, if, you know, a lot of you have paid some real good money for, uh, for some good photography. And so we want to make sure that you know, if you've got some spectacular images, you want to put them in here. You want to be able to showcase that. So that's where you would use that. You can also use video if you need, uh, if you have some, you know, a, a nice little video clip. Some people like to use that. Uh, main text. <clears throat> this is what will show up right here. It's time to find your dream home. So we could say, you know, maybe that's not her style. And maybe it's something like, um, call Pam. Actually, she goes by Pamela. Call Pamela. So you can do whatever you want there. Same thing here with the greeting. You can create whatever greeting you'd like. Really customize that so it's, you know, your look and feel. So again, super easy. 
um, tagline, same thing, that's gonna go right there. Um, and then of course, any changes we make, we just wanna click the save changes. Easy deal. Uh, homepage sections, this is where we can turn on and off certain things. Um, the property search is on, we always want that on. Um, I, IDX listings, we can turn that off. Um, we can create our own search if we want. Um, what we do <coughs> in, I'll show you in a, in a subsequent screen, we can create custom IDX listings. And so say for the, this uh, example, say we wanna display on a page just Newport Beach listings or just um, a, a certain zip code in Newport Beach. Well, we can create that. And then if we do, that's gonna be down in this dropdown. So uh, new search, I know we set that up for her as just her farm, which is 92660 and 92663 in Newport Beach. So we could enable that, click save the changes. <coughs> and then if we wanted to go to that, we could go to that. So uh, it's kind of a nice feature to be able to do that. So let's just real quick go, let's get out of here. Um, just notice that you can go homepage sections, you can, you know, turn on and off certain things. We can, if you have a blog, you can turn your blog on, all that good stuff. Um, so once we're back in this area, if we want to create that custom uh, IDX uh, list, we go to this MLS setup again, and we just create a new IDX uh, setup. So let's click in here. Here's our search. We can create a new search and say this one's gonna be Newport Beach. We'll use that zip code and we'll list this in the map view and we'll do a search radius. Let's not do too far around the zip code. So only two miles within the zip code. So we keep it kind of tight. Um, then we click save and maybe minimum price, you know, Newport Beach, you're not gonna get much <laughs> under 500,000 I don't think. Max price, well, that's a big one in Newport, but for this, we're gonna say maybe our, our clients are, are looking at stuff under 1.5. And then minimum baths, beds, let's just do at least three beds. So click save. And now we've got this new Newport Beach uh, uh, link here. And so let's click on the link and that sh will show us uh, exactly what, let's see if I can get to it. All right, so this is our search results. So this would be all of the homes in Newport Beach within our price range and within our uh, and this is kind of cool, this always pops up. So this search uses predefined search criteria, but you can view and or change this criteria if you wish using the controls on the map. So great. So of course it's pre-populated uh, with the stuff that we put in there, but at any time we could say, you know what, um, high roller, I'm gonna go ahead and look for stuff that's in a million. So that completely changed our search. This is nice too because it has a map feature. So the map feature shows us exactly where the heck it is. And again, see, I always default with the map feature, but you can always do grid or you can always do uh, map is by far the best. List, some people like a list, it's personal preference. So you can train your clients and you can let them know, hey, this is how you can, you know, search for properties uh, on my website. And so that's something that you always want to be sending people to. If you have a prospect, make them go back to your website and do a search. Like I said, if you want to create that search for them, you can do that here and just send them that link and say, hey, click on this link and you'll see all the properties within your price range, within your uh, area that you're, you're, you're looking for. So all those good things. Um, so let me X out of a couple of these tabs.
Okay, so getting back to the dashboard, um, the most the next spot that's really important in here is the properties tab. <clears throat> so when you sign up or when you when you uh, put a listing on the MLS, get all your information in there, um, and you make it go live, as long as you've got images in there, the agent marketing website system will create uh, a property website for you as well as some of the uh, brochures and so forth automatically. So 24 hours, within about 24 hours of uploading that uh, into the MLS, you will get an email. So the email will say, hey, you've got all your, uh, we've got your um, marketing materials ready to go for you. So let's just click on this. So this is a single property website. And um, I will say that this image is not that great. Sorry, Pamela. But uh, again, very important to spend the money, get some good high, high quality images so your website looks great. Um, all websites are dependent on the images in order to look good. So we wanna make sure that we start with some good images. But these are great one, person, or one property websites. They've got tours. You know, If you've got a whole bunch of images in there, it'll do a virtual tour for you. It'll do a gallery. Uh, maps show you what's what's uh, available and uh, what's nearby all that good stuff um, you I mean tons of it, different information that's already populated and then this other little guy right here is brochures so if you need a brochure you can in a flyer you can create tons of different flyers based on exactly what you're doing so if it's just listed you could do a just listed flyer um, they've got a couple of different flyer variations. So these are all ready to go, um, easy to use. They look pretty good. They're not the best in the world, but if you need uh, flyers done quickly and efficiently, this is not a bad way to go. You know, if you have a price reduction, you can do, you know, price reduced flyer. Notice that we only have a couple images for this particular property. So if we have better images, it's going to come out looking a lot better. But all your information is here. You know, this populates directly from the MLS listing. So it makes it really, really easy. So you don't have to do much. You can print them up. You can uh, create a PDF, send them to your flyer. I'm sorry, send them to your printer and they can go ahead and print them up for you. So uh, really easy to use. Um, single property websites, they look good. They're great on mobile. Uh, they're fantastic that way. So um, definitely utilize these. And then once we've got this, this is now the URL for that website. So now we can, you know, highlight that, we can copy it, and we can put that into social media. Take it into social media. If it ever loads. And then, of course, we would put that into our post area, paste it, and it'll it'll create a nice little preview for us. Um, not bad, kind of an easy way to do things. So uh, pl yeah, we're going to leave that. We don't need to do that. So please, you know, utilize these uh, single property websites. Um, really, really easy to use. If you want to edit anything, you can go ahead and you can edit uh, things that came from the MLS. You might say, hey, you know, th th there's a couple different things that are wrong with this. So you can change whatever the heck you want uh, in the setup. So we'll cancel out of that. Um, then another kind of a cool thing is you can see reports, uh, how many people have, have come to the website. Um, you can share it. This is a really cool, easy way to get this out into your social media channels. So you click on the share button. Uh, if you've even got a Craigslist spot, why not use them all? So Click Facebook, it'll take you to Facebook, Twitter, as long as you're, you're logged in, you know, with your regular browser, it'll take you to, to your particular profiles and it'll make things really easy <clears throat> when you're trying to launch this stuff and get the word out to everybody in your network. So it makes it really easy, guys, really easy. Um, and before I get too far, let me just go back and delete this particular site since that was our test site. We don't want to mess up Pamela's uh, system here. So now we've got our correct website. It's all working good. Um, so let's head back to the dashboard real quick. 
So that's in properties. Um, one other thing about properties is you can create a property even if you haven't put it into the MLS yet. Um, so if you wanted to do some pre uh, marketing or if you even have a prospect and you want to show them what this one page website's going to look like, you can go ahead and you can just set it up. Um, and it literally takes five minutes max. So um, go ahead and, and mess with that. You can't really break anything. So continue to, you know, add properties, um, utilize the system. It's really, really easy stuff. Once you, it, just like anything, once you get to, you get in here and you use it a little bit, it's pretty intuitive. And we've got our little friend down here that can, you know, answer questions anytime. So that's, uh, makes things easy as well. So that is uh, the main parts of the website. Then the sec the, the really kind of the, the most important is the CRM. And so having the CRM set up properly is really, really important. So all this, this is great. You, I mean, you wanna make sure that all these things are, you go through all of these things. Um, but let's just take a look at the CRM itself. So within the leads, you would go to, again, leads, clients, and Pam doesn't have anybody in there yet, but um, in fact, let's go to somebody that has stuff in here. I believe, let's go. Okay, so he's got a few leads in here. So. Uh, let's take a look at what a lead looks like within our CRM system. So this is the CRM. This you know, where we keep track of all of the specs on, uh, on, on, our, on our clients and our prospects. So we've got an email address, all that kind of stuff. Um, very, very important is we want to make sure that it's my belief that all agents should be sending out a monthly newsletter to all of the people in their, in their sphere of influence and prospects. So you wanna make sure that this is turned on and I'll show you how to use it in a second. Um, so the other thing that's really important is this is gonna keep track of the notes. So, and also there is also a log. So the log will keep track of, uh, of anything that that particular prospect has done on our website. So it's very cool. Um, what we also wanna do is once we get a prospect or a prospect is looking at our website, we want to make sure that they are on one of our drip campaigns. So this is a list of our drip campaigns right here. Um, Charles has created a few custom drip campaigns, which is really a good idea. So we want to, once we do get somebody, um, we want to make sure that we select one of these and Charles has selected, I think it's his first one. And so this is the schedule of when these particular emails will go out to that client. So on the 3rd of June, they're going to get this one. And on the 10th, they're going to get this one. 20th, they're going to get this one. So we're constantly uh, making sure that we're staying in front of that person, being uh, top of mind, and sending them a little bit of information that we think is going to be uh, relevant for them. So let's just cancel out of that. And then, of course, all different other kinds of stuff. We can keep track of our tasks, plans. We can uh, have a calendar so we can make sure that we you know, know exactly when to contact this uh, person, Nancy, and to get them the information that they need. So uh, very, very simple and nice CRM system. We'll close out of that. So part of that is the email drip that we just saw. So the agent marketing system comes with custom email drip campaigns. And so these are all of the custom ones that it comes with. Charles has created his own, which I definitely encourage all of you to create your own uh, drip campaigns that are, they're from you. They're written by you. They sound like you, they're your language. Uh, really important stuff. So um, this is kind of the default. Um, if somebody came to your website randomly and did a search and filled out the contact information, they would automatically get assigned to this drip campaign. And so there are six letters in this drip campaign. So we click on that. And now we can take a look at the individual six letters that are there. So we can, we can view them. This is what they look like. And if we wanna change them, we can just go into edit and we can change whatever the heck we want uh, about that particular 
uh, drip campaign. <clears throat> Um, so you'll see, you can see the frequency five days later, 10 days later, 17 days later, 27 days later. Um, and then of course, you know, you maybe want to extend that out, create, uh, number seven, eight, nine, ten. If we want to add to an existing drip campaign, uh, we just go add new. And so now we can, you know, this is part of the, uh, number one, wanted to search MLS and then. I think that last one was 27 days after uh, they signed up, they were going to get something. So maybe we do this one uh, 35 days later. So 35 days later, they're going to get this additional uh, whatever the heck we want to put in there. So we won't go through that, but that's how you would add campaigns. And so if we did that, it would show up in here. And so it would have number seven would be the, uh, the email that we just created. So I encourage you guys to take a look at the drip campaigns, customize those. Um, very, very cool stuff. Um, the last thing that I'm going to go over, because we're running out of time, is the squeeze pages. And uh, texts are important too. Um, every time you create a listing, you will get the opportunity to create a text code. And so you can create text writers that say, uh, something that's the effect of, you know, uh, text the word hot property to 7476 and you'll get an instant uh, text back with all the information about that property. So that's, uh, I've got a, a couple of other trainings on just that particular topic. So um, that is kind of a, a separate topic in itself, but the text stuff is really, really good. All you have to do is add a new one. You can add as many as you want. Want you just hit uh, enter a text code. Um, like I said, it could be the property address. It could be the word uh, you know great properties. As long as it's not taken, then that's uh, something that you could use. And then in the response, this is where you would put a link to the property. So I think we highlighted this property, and so we could put uh, let's just put four two five three three moon so literally now if you text four two five three three moon to seven nine five six four this website will show up so very very easy let's go ahead and delete that back to squeeze pages so one of the things that we can do with this website CRM system is we can create squeeze pages and Charles has already created two. So a squeeze page is a page where we want our viewers to do a, a particular thing. So in this case, what we want them to do is fill out the contact form and give us a little bit of information. So this is how it would work. This one, let's see how he has it set up. So we click and this is all in Buena Park. This is his farm. Um, oh, we've got 89 matches. Great. Well, I'd like to see those. Well, would you like to refine them at all? Sure. Let's just do residential and let's do maximum price of 600,000 and click to final step. Oh, now we've got to give our address, our name, email, phone number if we want to create see these results. So this is why this is a squeeze page. So squeeze pages, they squeeze the viewer into doing exactly what we want them to do. Now notice there's no other links here. We can't get to any other part of the website. It's just, we just have to fill out the form. So that's why we call it a squeeze page. Um, so very, very useful to create these squeeze pages for just about anything that you want. So let me click out of that. Um, so in order to create a new squeeze page, all you do is click this add new. There's nine different styles of squeeze pages that we can create using the system. Um, you know, these general purpose ones, are, we can pretty much do whatever we want. Um, the one that we uh, just saw the example of is the IDX squeeze page. So that's, um, you know, basically we're just uh, going to be displaying properties. So um, sell your home fast, same kind of thing. We could, you can imagine that you could create some kind of a social media campaign where you are, you know, uh, soliciting people to get a, get 
to have your uh, your services and to have you list their home. So you would create this sell your home fast uh, squeeze page. So anyway, uh, very, very cool, these little squeeze pages. I encourage you guys to, to utilize them, to check them out, and to use them in your social media marketing. That's really the aim. Um, for these squeeze pages and so we've we've run out of time I know we went over a tiny bit but I hope this was a good overview of the agent marketing system um, anything else that you need just let me know of course this resources tab is a pretty good one it's got some strategies um, all different kinds of stuff like that hit reports this is kind of nice this will show you um, how many people came to your website so definitely mess around with that kind of stuff and if you have specific questions like I said, don't be afraid to utilize the chat feature or call me directly, 949-285-7209. And if there are no questions, I haven't seen any questions in the chat, so we are gonna say goodbye for today. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.